here and show him what time it is. This man See is that guy? Yeah, this is That's a dude that fuck. Problem X. Easily one of the best players to do it in the Street Fighter V era. Red Bull Kumite 2021. Winner! Evo 20. Winner! Anyways, I was watching a match he played against Kaba, and I noticed something interesting that might give us insight into a top player's mind and how they adapt. Or not? I don't know him. He might be just like flipping coins in his head. Before we head to the match, this is the button we're gonna be focusing on. Alex's crotch medium punch. Super long range, very good hitbox. Plus two on hit, only minus one on block. And if it hits, you can confirm it to V-Trigger and do big damage. Easily one of the best pokes in the game. It's very prominent. So let's see how Problem X uses it. I might start saying BX just because that's a lot of syllables. All right. You gotta be careful. So now we have Kaba versus Problem X. And once again, this is SFL. Let's watch out the first match and try to see how Problem X uses the crouch PD punch. If he does, he definitely is. There's one he blocked, and then they both blocked afterwards. Word. You know, first match. Can't expect too much, right? This is gonna be tough, uh, like I said, he did another right? crash medium punch, whiffed, but you know, he whiffed, whatever. And, oh, see, uh, and then that's the V trigger conversion I was talking about earlier. Nice throw. Ooh, DDT, okay. Block DDT, that one's fake. You can, you can, you can just crush that. Another whiffed crash medium punch, whatever. The problem X is willing to whiff it. It's just that good. Crouch medium punch is just that good. Block. Okay. Kaba does a soul bot backwards. Another whiff. Tries to go for an EX head. Stud gun headbutt. And that was the first round. I guarantee there's not, like, just watching that round, you can't really pick up much. So I'm going to simplify this for you guys. We're going to go to each crouch medium punch, watch the interaction, and I'm going to write it down. First interaction was super early. Crouch medium punch, it counter hits. And then that's what happened. PX walks forward, which makes sense because it was a hit, counter hit, and it was uh, pretty far away, so might as well eat up that space. And Guile, Kaba, does a crouch light punch in response to that interaction. All right, so now you know how this works. Watch for the crouch medium punch. And there it is. PX walks back. Kaba does a down back and then into a delayed sonic boom. And the next time we see it is here. However, it's a, it's a conversion into feature combo, so there's no interaction after it. So we're not we're not we're not, we're not gonna count this one. We're just gonna uh, delete like that. Here's the next crouch medium punch. Interesting situation. Uh, well, not from PX. He's still down backing. However, Kaba he backs Obots. All right, so this is the first cross medium punch of this round. Both playing it safe, both press the light button. So this is the interaction that started catching my attention. Cross medium punch, light slash elbow, you see that? The reason this interaction caught my attention to make me want to make a video about it is because there were 17 whole frames between the crouch medium punch and Kaba down backing, but he just blocked the slash elbow instead of doing something about it. I.e. PX somehow fit 17 frames and still came out on top. Now, Slash Elbow is minus two on block. It's safe, but you're negative. But because it's still a forward moving move, and if it hits, it's plus, it allows PX to still like elevate the heat levels to make things more intense so that maybe Kaba might make a mistake. So this is the next crouch medium punch interaction. You saw that? We're looking at things from PX's perspective. However, Kaba is a top level player. So I'm guessing the upside down kick was a direct aggressive response to the slash elbow. However, PX pulled back a little bit, did another crouch medium punch instead. So the first round of the next game, crouch medium punch. You saw that interaction. PX whiffs a standing heavy punch. I do have an idea what that standing heavy punch might have been, but it does seem odd that he's just kind of whiffing that big button. But we'll test that later, so next. And it actually happens right after that last interaction. Crouch medium, crouch medium punch into a slash shelf. And Kaba was down backing once more. Interesting. Another crouch medium punch didn't happen until here. This is the next round. See what happened just now? Another stand heavy punch just whiffed right in front of Kaba. And Kaba did do a standing leg kick and then once again followed up with a standing heavy kick, trying to whiff punish that standing heavy punch. So this is the last one that we're going to see. Crouching medium punch, it hits, and then another slash shovel. And Kaba was down back. And this time it hit, and it's plus two on hit. However, Slash Elbow is still a 16 frame move, so there's a big gap. So it still kind of like hits me different that he's able to fit that in. But yeah, the rest of this match, he wins out. Problem X does he what he does and wins the set. Back into the game to test some of these interactions out. The three kind of fast buttons that Kaba did was the standing light punch, the crouching light punch, 
and then the standing light kick. The bigger buttons he did were the back sobat and the upside down kick. So now Gal's gonna be pressing these buttons as I block. So after this, if I slash elbow right away, I get counter hit. Same thing with the cross light punch and the standing light kick. One thing to note, this applies to all three of the light buttons. They recover fast enough where if I delay it even a little bit, I can kind of kind of sneak it in. What about the heavier buttons? I'm gonna do this as fast as possible. Counter hit, I'm gonna kind of delay it. Counter hit. And the upside down kick, still counter hit. So the thing that we can glean from this is if I try to do the slash elbow after the cross medium punch, the back sobot and the upside down kick are kind of like hard counters to this method. But if you remember, there was one thing that Problem X did that was kind of making us scratch our little heads. He was whiffing the heck out of this button after crouch medium punch sometimes. The obvious case is if I'm super close, I'm just gonna get a counter hit for, with these light checks because this is minus one on block, minus one, and this is a 10 frame move, that's an 11 frame gap. All of Gao's lights is like four frames or less. So if I'm close, I'm just gonna get counter hit. Now at range, you'll probably whiff. And we saw this exact interaction during the match. But what about the back sobat and the upside down kick? Ooh, see that? It's a counter hit. What about the upside down kick? Counter hits. And you know Problem X is holding charge when this happens. Confirm into that. Mmm, damage. Damages. And this is why we gotta test stuff like cool people, unlike those that don't like and subscribe this video. So this is every single crouch medium punch interaction in that entire set. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. So if you look at what PX does in these first three interactions, he's just playing it safe. And then if you look at the first four interactions, Kaba is also playing relatively safe defensive, however. That is a key thing to know. He's very defensive. Crouch light punch, down back, back sobot, which is more active, but he's still moving backwards, standing light punch. And then the fourth interaction, you can see that PX is, you know, still playing it safe, but doesn't doing a standing light kick. And and the standing light could be for a variety of reasons. Maybe he thought Kaba might be aggressive and try to dash up. And it could also be something as simple as like he wanted to do something active on defense, but keep it relatively safe so he can still gather information. But the important part is this fifth interaction right here. So already we can kind of glean that PX was gathering info for the first four interactions and determined that Kaba was playing defensively enough that he could probably fit a slash elbow and he was able to. So in the next interaction, maybe PX still wanted to be aggressive, but wanted to pull back a little. So went with a faster poke with another crouch medium punch. Or it might've just been PX respecting Kava as another top level player, expecting him to do some sort of counter. And we know from testing that this upside down kick would have destroyed the slash elbow had PX done another slash elbow, but unless he didn't. And this is that interaction that first caught me off guard with the standing heavy punch whiff. However, now we know this might've been a direct answer to the upside down kick. Because if, if he did another upside down kick, maybe in a forward or back so bot, ooh, ooh, this would have been big damage. But Kaba opts for a defensive option, just walks back. And what does PX do when he thinks Kaba is being defensive again? Another slash elbow. And then, of course, Kaba is once again down backing. And I think this next interaction is just kind of a thing you will see often in high level sets where it's a repeat sequence. This was a sequence that happened earlier where after a slash elbow, Kaba did some sort of heavy move. So if the slash elbow is blocked again, maybe PX thought Kaba will do something again. However, instead Kaba goes for a more defensive option than the aggressive upside down kick. And then they both, both whiff in the situation. And then because PX is like standing like kick, ah, he's still being defensive. Next interaction does another slash elbow. So yeah, this is how Problem X was able to fit the light kick slash elbow, a 16 frame move in situations where it's kind of dangerous to do, but he did it confidently at least three times in the set. And if you actually watch the set, a lot of the snowballing that Problem X did starts from either those getting blocked or on hit, or just the fact that he's in such a close proximity. It's, 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 it's very cool. One big thing to know, this is a very zoomed in perspective of this entire set. If you zoom out, there's more things they can glean from it. And yeah, these kind of mind games and keeping track of opponent tendencies, it happens all over the place. However, it's most often seen after some flag that you can like start the mental record button on. In this example, it was a prominent poke, the crouch medium punch. The, the most common one just being a knockdown. It could also be off of a sequence of buttons. But regardless, this is one way that a lot of top level players start going about gathering information and then putting it to use. And be sure to check out this video about the two skills you need to succeed in Street Fighter 6, as one of them was an adaptation, and what we've covered today is one of the building blocks for adaptation, for adapting. Adaption? 